Hi, I'm Greg Delaney, user advocate for Venify as a Service. Today, I want to introduce the concept of applications in Venify as a Service. Now, here's the problem. So any TLS certificate inventory, it's important to catalog those certificates. Why? Well, because not every certificate is created equal. Many customers that I've spoken to are using scripts to locate certificates that are nearing expiration, and then they simply sandblast a standard set of email addresses alerting folks that, hey, one of these certificates, they, they might be one that you own that, that, that are nearing expiration. Now, this is seen as noise to users. Each time an alert is not relevant to them, they start to tune out that email. Renewals go ignore and outages happen. So let's shift over and identify as a service and let's start to solve this challenge. So this is the dashboard and we are showing you certificates that are nearing expiration. If we scroll down to the bottom, we start to see a roll up of those certificates and the applications that they're impacting. I can see in the bottom left hand corner that I have, certi I have applications that have certificates tied to them that are at medium risk. There's also an additional roll up on the right hand side of uh, medium risk certificates by organizational unit. Um, this is really helpful and I can click into this and, and, and see those certificates. Uh, already super helpful. Um, there's nothing here in this environment for, for high risk, but I can see up at the very top what the classification of high risk, which is zero to seven days in medium risk right here. Now, what I want to do is create an application. So if I go ahead and navigate into my certificates, I'm going to use the filter here and I'm going to start to adjust the parameters so I can find certificates that I want to tie to, uh, uh, tie to uh, an application. Let's get that seen recently. I'll click apply. I simply select the, the certificates that I want to assign to the application. I click assign. And I could select a, an application that's already created, but I'm going to go ahead and create new. This is a web app, right? It is revenue generating. And I'm going to tie this to my AWS development team. And now I want to select owners. Owners are really important because, because it's going to drive uh, any sort of notifications. I can also limit the uh, issuing template that can be created uh, for this application. Maybe I'm only using DigiCert. I can also add in uh, targets, both external and internal. Those could be FQDNs or IP addresses. I can also specify, specify ports for the internal discovery. For right now, I'm just gonna assign these certificates. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this and assign these certificates. If I navigate over to organization up in the, upper, uh, up in the top nav, I can go to the applications and I can find uh, the the web app uh, that I just generated. Uh, it's it, it's down here. I can move my my face here a little bit, um, and I can see some of the details that are that are tied here. I can also change the issuing template. I've got the external and internal targets as well. Owners is where I want to navigate to. These are the owners, and they're going to receive notifications if any of the certificates tie the applications nearing expiration. So let me show you what that looks like. So if I pull up this email, this is the email that they will receive. Um, what this is telling me that is, is, is that I have uh, high, high risk certificates that are tied to uh, a, an application that is assigned to me. I also have medium risk certificates that are tied to an application that's, uh, that, that's assigned to me. I can actually uh, configure this as well. If I, as a user, I can navigate into my, port, my profile go to preferences and go to the navigation uh, uh, notifications. And for this application certificate expiration, I can select the, the frequency and also the day of the week that this is sent to me. So I hope that helps to provide some insight of how we approach uh, application ownership uh, and categorization of certificates within Venify as a service. And this capability, it's free to start trying link today. Um, uh, I'll add a link in the description or you can simply visit vasvas.venify.com slash sign up to get started. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button while you're here. Thanks.